that's um, Japanese efficiency against what would yours be? Italian elegance? How's that? Oh, that's not going to take <laughs> Italian elegance today. That's nice. Yes, I'm going to take it there. Ciao ragazzi, I'm Roberta Past Evangelist and today I've got a special friend, Ken from Tonkotsu. Hello, Ken. Hello, thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Today we've got a challenge, Ken. We are going to make a peachy pasta against... Ramen noodles. Wow! Let's see who's going to win the challenge today. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go for it. Now, Ken, we need to... Let's see the ingredient to make the challenge. Okay. For the peachy pasta, I'm simply going to use a few ingredients. I have some durum flour, which is called semola rimacinata in Italian. And then I have just some water. And then I will shape the peachy using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So okay. it's going to be easy for, for me. What about your ingredient? Okay, so obviously the main ingredient is the flour. We get this from a special mill in Oxford. Um, it's high in protein and low in ash content. You want low ash content so that it's got less impurities in the noodles, so it stretches better, it gives you a better Fantastic. mouth feel. It's giving um, you a better shape. Exactly. It's holding the shape yes, better. Exactly. Wow, okay. So this is sea salt, and this is kansui, which oh, okay. is Interesting. Um, alkaline salts. So it's sodium and potassium carbonate. And this is filtered water. So yeah. Soft water works best with the, uh, this recipe. Um, and what this alkaline salt does to the water is that it makes the water alkaline, obviously, and okay. that reacts with, with. the uh, protein in the flour, and that gives you the elasticity and the bite that we're looking for. Okay, fantastic. I think we can just start now. So I will start to make my dough and you can also start to make yours. And let's see the challenge, guys. We are ready. As I say, my ingredients are uh, just less. Yes. What I'm going to do okay. is uh, I'm going to work all on uh, a kitchen surface Fine. Um, and start to mix the ingredient. I can see that you got a, a kitchen mixer, which is going to yes. help you to mix uh, all, uh, all, uh, all uh, in there. there, nice and neat, clean. Okay, you make your mess. How's that? but let me tell you, it is possible to do all these by hand without yeah, using the yeah, machine. I'm sure. Ah, yes. okay. But the key is to try to. It's going to be a very dry dough, okay. and so not much water go in here. So you'll see in a minute that it's going to be like a breadcrumb oh, texture okay. when it's all mixed. And so then you continue to knead it on the surface. And then surface. put it together, and then feed it through. Fantastic. I think we need to start. Yeah. So the reason why I don't want to use uh, too many tools in the kitchen is because I'm very lazy to clean then all the tools. So sometimes I find it easy okay. and of course yeah. uh, is the traditional Italian way. You yes. know, we have to do this way. Yeah. So I'm ready to start with my dough. Okay. So and uh, just let's go for it. Go. Fantastic. So I'm adding the kansui alkaline salts into the water. Okay. Mix it until it goes clear. And I'm just adding, as, as you can see, guys, mine is a little bit different. First of all, the, the quality of flour that I'm using, Ken, yeah. is completely different from yours. Yes. Also, the durum flour, the semola, has got a lot of high content of protein. Right. That's why this pasta, normally, it takes just a little bit longer to cook because it contains high protein. Mm -hmm. And can you see the beautiful color of yes. my... Where does it come from? These come from South Italy. Yeah. So this is the typical flour that we will use in South Italy. Okay. But even in North Italy, I mean, whenever you want to make uh, pasta with the semol and water only, you will use this type of flour. Okay. Now, it depends really on the shape of pasta that you want to make it. So I can see you're going to basically dissolve all the... Yes. Say again exactly. the name because I'm very... Kansui. Kansui. Yeah, there you go. Where does the colour come from? Uh, the colour just comes from the type of flour. Okay. And uh, as you can see, I'm using also filtered water. Yeah. It's not really, you don't have to, but I sometimes prefer to do it because sometimes the water is high content of calcium or mm -hmm. chlorine. Yes. And then it's going to change a little exactly. bit the taste. So yeah. it's better to use yeah. the filter. That's the reason why you use yes, as well? Yes, exactly. So, we got something in common. The ingredients are a little bit different, but we use the same water. Now, can I do with my hand? Because uh, uh, if you don't know, 
uh, in southern Italy, pasta is not something that we eat every day, but it's also a kind of therapy, making the pasta. Look, you mix slowly the ingredient with your hand. Uh, you don't need any tools, and this is fantastic, because as I, can, I, I say before, I don't like to clean too much. And uh, we are going to mix until you basically form a dough. So now okay. you're adding... So I'm adding the sea salt now and then do exactly the same. For instance, guys, we don't add sea salt in the pasta dough. The reason why can we don't add the salt into the pasta uh, dough, it's because if you add the salt, uh, you will have, uh, then when the dough is ready, you will have a just a little white dot. Uh, and the Italians are too fussy about pasta. They don't want to see that. But I'm dissolving the salt. I know. But and you need a bit of salt in you. Uh, well, <laughs> the salt in the pasta is in a different stage. Right. In Italy, the pasta, when you want to add the salt, you need to cook in a salty yes. water. Yeah, I remember. remember. That's, 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 the, okay. that's the difference. So look, Ken, I'm just tr starting to knead it. Okay. So I have to add more water, yep. but I do slowly. Okay. Because you don't really know how much the dough will absorb. I see. You know? So you're looking for a certain consistency. Absolutely. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, okay, we just carry on. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just in, and then to form a dough. Be careful with the water because, especially if you use your kitchen and your kitchen counter, the water can, get, can go straight on the floor. And again, you don't want to clean it. Now, again, we are, as you can see, I push all together. I mean, I could use as well a, a kitchen mixer, but it's not traditional. <laughs> okay. It's not traditional in Italy to use the kitchen mixer, but of course you can. With your hand, it's going to be much, much better, so you can control the consistency. Okay. Tell me, my dear. Right, so I have to use a mixer. Okay. We don't put as much water in, so it won't be a dough put together like that so when when it comes out it's going to be like a bread crumb consistency oh that's so that's the key is to try and pour very slowly okay so that the water goes to you know all of the flour rather than in clumps okay so, oh. and then you're going to move anyway to a surface to uh, knead the dough do you do you knead the dough no, it has no, i don't need the dough no oh so you'll that, see in a minute that's another different guys you know in Italy, you have to knead the dough. If you don't knead the dough, it's going to be very difficult for you to shape. That's true. But I believe uh, it's probably the different shapes of pasta that we have in Italy. That's why yeah. you need to go through yeah. a, a kneading to, to get it a nice consistency. I'm ready to add the water into Fantastic. my now. I'm just going to pour this in here so that it pours better. Yeah, it's much easier than yeah, for you to exactly. pour it into. I'm just going to knead the dough in a classic way, stretching and folding okay. until the dough has a really nice and uh, a smooth consistency, can you? Yeah? Okay. So I'm really curious to see then the kneading process and the type of dough that you're going to, to create. Right. But can you tell me just a little bit more about you uh, from where you come from, my dear? Yeah, I was born in a small fishing town. Nice. Shimoda in Japan. Shimoda. Shimoda. Yeah. Ciao Shimoda. And my uh, family has run a, a traditional Japanese inn for generations, and so I basically grew up around hospitality. Since, nice. Um, and uh, there is the type of food that you will always, uh, it will always remind you of your childhood. Well, I mean, it being a fishing town, you know, I, it's obviously seafood was all around me and never really um, used any kind of term about being fresh because it was just a given, you know. Oh, okay, okay. And, um, and they're very um, seasonal without, just naturally seasonal. So you always knew what, you know, part of the year you were in by looking at the produce that was just Absolutely. around you. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it must be the same it is, yeah, know. it is the same for me growing up in southern Italy. Yeah. Of course, the pasta is, uh, is what, you know, uh, remind me not only, you know, my family. It's, it's literally how I really grow up because I started to make pasta when I was a little girl. Yeah. So I wasn't able really to speak properly, but I was able already to make uh, pasta. Oh, really? It's always something that whenever I wanted to, you know, just 
get a moment and uh, just taste and smell again my country and remember, remember my family, I will do a special dish. Yeah, yeah. Do you have something as well that you will do when you just want to go back for a minute, uh, back home and, uh, you know, re remember yourself the flavour and... Uh, so do you have yeah. a typical dish? Uh, yes, I mean, rice, I guess, is central to mm -hmm. Japanese food. Yeah. And, um, and I... She's, uh, well, she's gone now, but my grandma, whenever I used to go back, she would create some kind of a special rice dish for me. And, and the, you know, the, the smell of the stock that goes into the rice, and that just, you know, immediately yeah, I feel exactly. at home. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Brings you back uh, yeah. into to, to your, exactly. to your, the memories of being a child and be free yes. and, you exactly. know, enjoying really yeah. the, that the instant family. Exactly. You know. So yeah, it's uh, it is exactly the same for me. You yeah. know, I uh, sometimes I try to shopping a specific ingredient yes. just to create the most traditional, you know, a dish from Puglia, from where I come from, South right. Italy, yeah. in order to really go back to, yeah. to the yeah. family origin. And everybody uh, needs that. I exactly. Think. Yeah. And uh, so you started with the hospitality was always part of your life. I guess so. I mean, my parents still run the inn. They're oh, very old. Really? But, um, yeah. Um, oh, that's so, so nice. Um, so whenever I go back, I, I, I get right back into it, I guess. That's, uh, that's um, really nice. And then you basically wanted to bring it back, all this flavor in the business. Like, yeah. it's, uh, it's the same as Pastor Evangelist, though, what we love to do. It's to yes. just to let you guys experience how we grew up and the yeah. flavor. And so I believe it would be the same. For uh, to be honest, exactly that. You know, I, yeah. I missed the food from Japan. Yes. And that was main, the main reason why we started the business. My business partner, Emma's over there making sure that I don't say anything stupid today. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it was exactly that conversation. I, I, I said one day, I missed Brahmin. Yes. And then that was when, when, the, you know, when it all started. Absolutely. I believe it's important that we share visa because we are coming from, we have a different culture, but yeah. both we have a very strong culture, especially yeah. with the food. So yes. for me, it's the same. It's important for me to share with other nationality yeah. the way how I grew up eating yeah. what product and uh, yeah it's and, um, you know in the UK it's definitely happening you know a lot more of these different you know um, cultures and food is coming in and everybody's doing it really well now. absolutely absolutely and uh, by the time we are talking my door is wow. almost ready beautiful <laughs> <laughs> we are going to can you see it's yeah. really nice and smooth it's not sticky at all and uh, wow. It's uh, just now the time. I normally don't leave it to rest. Do you okay. rest at the door? Uh, in between rolling, yes. Oh, okay. Um. That's, uh, that's interesting. See then, you have basically mixed all the ingredients together. Yes. And now you go, ah, okay. That's how yeah. you get the nice and uh, uh, crumble consistency to that. Exactly. So nothing like yours. It's almost the opposite, isn't it? So far. Okay. That's the challenge. <laughs> So, um, so, I mean, I have lost already 200 calories, uh, just needing my dough. Uh, <laughs> I have not. <laughs> like, you still have time. <laughs> so it's, uh, also the colour changes slightly, you know. Exactly. So, oh, okay. um, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. Kansui reacts with the protein in the flour. And this is why um, I think a lot of people think that ramen noodles have eggs in them. Oh, um, because it okay. changes its colour to this yellow, almost similar. And you to can yours see now. exactly. Uh, yeah. You you can see that. That's the same question that people yes. ask me. If whenever I use durum flour, it's going to turn a little bit more yellow the, yes. the, the dough. But yeah, it does not contain eggs. Could you do the same recipe using eggs? Uh, some people do put okay. eggs in. Um, either uh, fresh eggs or um, you can get dried, um, okay. freeze-dried oh, okay, the eggs. powder. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, but but uh, at tonkotsu we don't. So it's just simple it's so nice. water, salt, kansui and flour. Because we want it to be traditional. Exactly. That's, that's, that's the things that really we want. Espe the, the challenge is going to be also on, you know, how traditional we're going to be today, yes. you know. Um, yes. As I say, this uh, is going to be done all by hand, the pasta. Yeah. So I, you, you, so just, uh, you just put it all together. And exactly. And dough. ideally, I'd rest this for about 
10, 15 minutes okay. before rolling out. Okay, that's, uh, that's something that, for instance, with the pasta we will do as well. Yeah. Uh, especially if we do with the eggs, we will yes. rest the dough. Right. Today is not the case because this type of dough, because it's mixed with water, yes. uh, it can be stretched straight away well, and then it can be already shaped into, into the peachy pasta. Peach Fantastic. pasta. Fantastic, I can't Brilliant. wait. My dough is ready. Mine's nearly ready. Nearly ready. Why nearly ready? Because ideally I'd rest this for about 10 minutes, but okay. I think I can go now. So. Fantastic. Let's okay. see the dough, guys. That's the first challenge. Look at mine. Look, it's better. Ah, I believe it's better. <laughs> Let's start the then. <laughs> I just, okay. uh, I just keep in, um, I, I will keep kneading my dough just because okay. if I leave it, it's going to dry. So sure. just to continue to um, making sure that he's not going to dry completely. Okay. I'm going to try to feed a little bit of it through the machine. Okay. But I have to warn you, I haven't done this for about, I don't know, 10 years. Wow. Since I was testing lots and lots of different types of flour. Okay. We now do it in massive batches with so it's big a proper machines. Challenge, then. So it is a challenge, go. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to so. take a, a, a little, okay, just like yeah. a quarter of the, yes. of the dough. And you keep it fantastic. That's why I'm keeping just uh, kneading the dough. Otherwise, me too, I can simply cover it and then making sure that the dough doesn't dry completely. Okay. So mine's a lot drier dough than yours. Yes, I um, can see. I can, I can see that it is uh, much drier. So I'm going to just help you a little bit. Thank you very much. So. I do exactly the same as pasta, I guess. <gasps> He's going to fold it then. Yes. That's very important. And we do this in order to get uh, the dough a really nice and rustic consistency. So we are using the machine. I normally do the first number one three times. Do you? Yes, with, with the pasta. I'll do the same. <gasps> <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. And then you basically feed through the machine. Don't worry, I'm a stronger woman. I can, oh I can hold the machine, guys. Okay, it'll get easier now. Now it's gonna get easy, yes. Sure. And in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, guys, so can you going to stretch yep. the dough? I'm just going to start as well. I'm going to just take a little bit of the dough uh, and uh, starting to also um, make uh, the peachy. As I say, it is always good to cover the dough, otherwise it's going to completely dry. And um, let me just make sure that the machine does Thank it. you. Let's go on the floor. But that's good, you know, it's a, a lot of calorie that we're gonna, um, <laughs> we're going to lose today. <laughs> And then you're gonna get back as soon you eat. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, it's absolute. But it's yeah. good because you don't feel guilty, you know, can no. you know? Okay? <laughs> no. No guiltiness of uh, having so much pasta or so much uh, noodles. So we, so you're going to get into a very nice and thin dough. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. What I'm gonna do instead, uh, I'm not using any tools. I'm literally using my hand. And today, guys, can. Yes. I forgot the rolling pin. How can I forget the rolling pin? But I have always a solution, guys. Anytime you don't find nothing that it is a proper tool to make pasta, just don't panic. Today I'm going to use uh, a bottle of wine. That's a grandma um, tips. Every time you don't have a rolling pin, just go for the a bottle of wine and try to stretch the, the dough. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, it's a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to add uh, a little bit, just a pinch of semola. Okay. Um, do you do as well the same if the dough is too uh, sticky? Are you going to add extra flour? We try not to. Because okay. Because when you cook, obviously that flour goes in the water. And it's fine if you're only cooking one portion. Okay. But in the restaurant, obviously, you know, on a busy Friday night, you're cooking a lot. Yes. They don't want the flour on the noodles to go into the cooking water. Uh, otherwise, you need to change the water exactly. too many times uh, and because you, know you get what all happens the stash of the tickets yes. roll yeah. up. And, uh, yeah. Everyone works in a restaurant yeah. know the trick that you know it's pretty 
difficult then to with my pasta so i already finished with a bottle of wine i don't going to stretch too much because literally my pasta then they need to be stretched by hand <gasps> look at that and i'm not ready he's ready guys and i'm not Shall ready I do another portion? Uh, yes go for it because i'm not ready ken so i'm going to cut the peachy and then i'm going to start to shape by hand as i say um it's just gonna take a little bit longer but guys he's using a machine i'm doing everything by hand so please uh, please, uh, Ken, that's the challenge, you know. So I'm going to uh, cut, doesn't really matter, you have to do like uh, um, uh, four to five millimeter the, the dough, but you know, okay. sometimes it doesn't really matter how wide is the, 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 um, the peachy that you're going to create. It's quite and a then, thick, thick um, Yes, but we're going to stretch it now by hand, oh, so it's going to be very oh. nice and uh, thin. Okay. So I'm using, can olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, okay. to shape the noodles. Now, uh, I call it noodles, can you know? These are peachy pasta. And I peachy call pasta. Peachy pasta. So uh, with the extra. Did you name that, or is it actually? No, no, no. I did. It. I wish I could create this pasta. I mean, I would be so famous now. No, it's a typical pasta okay. from uh, Tuscany. And uh, how do you spell it? Uh, P. Why they ask me this? An Italian <laughs> has to spell it in, in English. It's uh, P I C I. Peach. Okay, peachy. Yes. So, and as I say, guys, you can use water as well uh, to uh, create uh, the um, the long peachy. I'm using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now, you can also use a, a wooden board, but anyway, guys, you need to clean the kitchen, so don't worry. So, I have uh, uh, started to shape the peachy. As I say, guys, you need to be a law. You need to have a lot of fish. It's not so easy like a pasta <laughs> machine. So you need to roll one by one. And uh, it uh, doesn't really matter the length. Sometimes I try to be really good, actually. Let's try to be good today. We can then, don't throw this away, but we can use it later. And uh, um, yeah, I can just continue okay. to shape him by hand. As I say, I have put a little bit of olive oil, so it's going to be easy for you to roll it into. Right. I can see that you already got the first batch. Yes. That's um, Japanese efficiency against, what would yours be? Italian elegance? How's that? Oh, that's not gonna take <laughs> Italian elegance. That, that's nice, yes, I'm gonna take it there. Um, <laughs> it's just, uh, as you can see, it's a completely different uh, technique. I mean, um, I would say we do have a, probably we, we don't have a specific tools for this type of pasta, okay. but even in Italy, if I wanna make spaghetti or tagliatelle, then you can go, you can use the yeah. machine, but, that's not the challenge, Ken, you know? <laughs> like everything must be done by hand to get it into the challenge. So as you can see, you need uh, just patience. And as well, Ken, in Italy, whenever we, uh, we make pasta or we do um, this type of things, that we always need to make sure that you have time, you know? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I believe it's, the, it's really uh, what, what, what you think is the secret of the a good meal or you know to prepare something also easy and to don't stress too much yeah, it's, yeah. you uh, need no. time exactly so i'm just trying to cut this okay um, to hang on yeah if you feel there you go oh you. look guys and i'm here like making one by one by hand guys and he's already done the second batch oh hang on um, <laughs> that didn't work did it <laughs> sorry so I'm cutting this now into um, noodles. And uh, you can use any, um, like you, you, you have the same similar machine that you're using? Yeah, or? It's exactly the same concept, but much larger. Okay, yeah. and uh, probably is not an Italian brand? No, Japanese. Of course, of course. <laughs> but it's exactly the same concept. So exactly. One way yeah. you're going one to... One rolls. And, and, and then, then the other one will, yeah. will shape it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I need to hurry up, actually. Uh, yes. Yeah. As you still can see, guys, I don't add too much olive oil. So once I have added a few drops at the beginning, that's, that's what it is. I'm just going to leave it then uh, to rest. And then I'm going to also create these. Just bear with me, guys. I need a few minutes. And then I'm going to nest as well. That's, in Italy, we call it nested pasta oh yeah yeah and uh, we like to do when we have to for instance how do you store this again just um, uh, make sure that it doesn't condensate um, so okay we cover it 
but without the, the cover touching the noodles. Okay. And then I find it best second day. So we try to so that we, um, it, it's, you know, it's also resting during that time. So it, it oh, okay. has its time, so gluten works its magic. And then again, it's about the bite. So as a pasta evangelist, we do fresh pasta. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, we, 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 we feed a lot of customers, so we need to do it fresh every single yes. day. Yeah. This happens as well into your business. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, every day we're making um, noodles. Fantastic. I think it's also the secret of a good food. Definitely. When it's yeah. fresh and, uh, you know, uh, apart to being homemade, but when really the ingredient uh, yeah. and everything is freshly made Has to be. on the day. So we made um, I'm almost there, Ken. You see? I'm just yeah. trying to speed up, guys. Uh, I'm trying really my best to create uh, um, as soon as I can the peachy. Um, again, don't worry about the length. Uh, yes, uh, I'm still rolling the peachy. Actually, guys, look, can you look at what Ken is doing? Just for a second, it's making it beautiful. And I'm done. Brilliant, well done. <laughs> Thank you, I've well been done. For a long time. <laughs> <laughs> the only things that I have to make just sure, uh, Ken, is that now we add a little bit of semola just because sure. they're going to be a little bit too sticky and they're going to nest it as well. So, this pasta uh, at, uh, for instance, a pasta evangelist, we will love it to pair with the classic sauce. So, mm -hmm. peachy, cacio and pepe, it's a classic and traditional Italian sauce. And uh, that's very important, actually. I'm not sure if it's also with the noodles, but in Italy, the shape of pasta goes with a specific sauce. Oh, it's, um, it's something Similar, that you... actually. Fantastic. Yeah. So, we have three different types of noodles. Okay. Different recipes according to um, how, I guess, thick the stock is. So the, the thicker the stock, so our tonkotsu stock, soup, bone broth, um, whatever you like to call them, um, uh, the thinner you, you want the noodles to be because you, 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 know, you want less of the thick sauce Absolutely. with the noodles when you're slurping. Um, so this is what I made today is a toko noodle. So it's a mi middle, medium cut size. Mm -hmm. And we usually um, serve this with a chicken stock and a soy base um, nice. with a topping of um, nice pork belly. Oh, that's so nice. And of course, I have created one portion. You got five, but remember guys, he has used the pasta machine. I have done everything by hand. Thank you so much, Ken, for being here with me. Thank you very much for having me on your show. And guys, I'm waiting for now for your challenge. I want to see your noodles and your peachy. Let us know in the comment below. Grazie mille. Arigato gozaimashita. Arrivederci.